We're the Blackwells. And this is our reinvention. Up in the creek, slip down the clay, watch those minnows take my cans away. Got them feeling they want them more than me. When we jump in the creek, let it all go, feel the mushroom and hatch your jaws. Something about getting dirty makes me feel free. When we jump in the creek. Hey everyone, so we, it is, what day is it? Monday. Yes, it's it is Monday, August 1st. <laughs> Monday, August 1st, and we're at the library, and if you watched our last episode, we talked to you about our first visit at Life Point Church, and I mentioned Lou Willow. Well, this is the famous Lou Willow. Hi. <laughs> I wanted, we met today, she, um, at the library, and I wanted to, I'm making her, twisting her arm to get her on the video, because I thought y'all might like, I've had a few people text me like, we want a Lou Willow, we want to meet Lou Willow. <laughs> and when we went back to church this Sunday, you'll see in our next video so many people are like oh we saw the video and we we know yeah Luilla she's awesome so and she is she is I tell you I think and I talk about this you don't know yet because I talk about it in our next video or the one this is going to be a part of that it's I think it's a gift from God to have the kind of personality that connects automatically to people and then connects people to others because not only have I met Luilla she's connected us to lots of other people and we've this is our second time hanging out during the week yes yes it's awesome and then we're gonna meet again later if it doesn't storm and go to the splash pad oh that's right is it supposed to storm yes it is (laughs) it's raining like almost every day in the last yes so yeah so I feel like already I have a new best friend here in Tennessee and Luilla has just been awesome and made us feel very connected um so we appreciate that. So I wanted y'all to meet her. Hi. <laughs> and she's also been talking to my friends um, who also do homeschooling, yeah. Susanna and Eric Calfee. Yes. Yes. Yeah, um, Stephen and Eric had a really great visit. Yes. Um, and I think we're planning on getting together. Susanna. That you, oh, I didn't yeah. meet her. Is that her name? Yes, yeah, Susanna. Yes. Yeah, she okay. was at, um, what did she say she was doing that day? She was mm-hmm. at uh, by, uh, uh, Sunday school or something like that. She was in class, okay. and Eric was free with the children. And so I'm actually supposed to let her know if we get together. So uh, I'll have to text her. So now you know, Susanna. <laughs> We're <laughs> together. To her, right? She's been following you on. Well, that's why Eric said he saw the video. Yeah. Because he stopped Stephen and was like, I recognize you. He said yeah. Stephen reminded them of a, a friend he has. Yeah. So cool. So yeah, we've yeah. met, and there's a lot of homeschooling people. Yes, I'm learning there's a in, lot of homeschooling. At Life Point. Yes, and a lot of people who have adopted at Life oh, Point. Yes. Really? Lou yeah. Willow has adopted. Has four children. Yes. So. And you didn't know that Pastor Pat he has adopted. Oh. He has three children that are from. I think two are from Asia, and one is from Maybe. Ethiopia. Oh, I didn't. I haven't yeah. met their children yet. Two girls and a boy. Very and they have cool. two adult children, Pastor I, Pat and Amy okay. Hood. I think I met one of them because I remember his name was Zach, which yes. is my brother's mm-hmm. name, because he was at the next step. Right. So I met right. him, but I haven't met their other children. So that is really yes. cool. So we're learning a lot about Life Point that it has, I mean, just a whole wealth of um, people and different stories. And um, we're excited about plugging in more. Yes, so, and yeah. we're excited to have the Blackwells. Oh, thank you. Yes, we love them. <laughs> thank you. We feel very connected already, and it's only been two weeks, so we have to run. We're going to go eat. Yes. Luilla says she's getting hangry. Yes, very hangry. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to go eat and um, quit bugging the people at the library. Yes. All right, we are, it is Tuesday, August 2nd, I believe, and I haven't told y'all, yeah, I didn't tell y'all, but I, we, me and Dodge and Truett are actually on our way back to Texas, because right before we moved, I had to have a temporary crown put on, and because our mood got del- move got delayed, my appointment to get the permanent was the same week we got to Nashville and I was not about to turn right back around and drive. So we've been here about 15 days. So I decided now's a good time for us to go back as Steven's busy with school and our CC hasn't really started. So we have like a little bit of time where it's not rushed. So the boys and I are headed back to Texas today. Thank God I was in a small town living life. When I was there, I tried my best to get out.
All right, guys, so this is the reason we left Tennessee for Texas. I just left the dentist, got my permanent crowns. Feeling a lot better, so I should be set now. Not that my, oh, sorry, I almost hit that car. Not that my temporaries really hurt that bad, but it just feels better to know that it is permanently in place and I can, I'm taken care of. The dentist, I love my dentist here. They're so awesome. Dr. Macy and then April helped me out today. If y'all are watching this, hi, I told them to check it out. They've been encouraging us on our move and getting, Steven and I both had to have some dental work done in the last month or two before our move to Nashville. So we've been up here quite a bit, both of us, in the last um, month or so. So we've, we already knew them, but we've become very close in the last few months. So thank you, Dr. Macy and April and the rest of the staff, everyone that's helped take care of us and um, take all our money. <laughs> Just kidding. But the dentist is expensive. It's not their fault, but it is. But we, um, we feel like we're in very good hands. They're awesome here. So we'll probably be now go to find a new dentist or come back for my cleanings every six months. So we are at Ikea in Dallas. That's actually in Frisco near Dallas because we got this, see this big box? This big chair, not really big. We thought it would fit perfect in the Airstream, but it's just too big. So while I'm here, we left it at my mom's in Texas. So while I'm here, I'm gonna return it since there's not really an Ikea close to Nashville. I see they're building one in Memphis, but I think it's not even open yet, so. I'm gonna go ahead and return this today and get some more of our snap together deck that we really like. I'll show y'all that when we get back. We have it in front of the Airstream, but we want two more sections. So you have to take a number here. You can look over this way. I had no idea. This is my first time returning something at Ikea that you have to take a number and wait. They're on 603 and we're 612, so it's not bad. Are you shocked? Here, I am shocked. <laughs> I am really shocked. Aww, <laughs> the cousin reunion. <laughs> oh, look how he's hugging. He's got his arms this working. Cake. <laughs> this is our little cousin Elijah. <laughs> yeah, the boys picked that up. They had to have that for Oma. Hey, buddy. So here's Elijah talking to Stephen on the phone back in Tennessee. What does the dog say? <laughs> what does a horse say? <laughs> what does the monkey say? I'll say. Aw, look how close he's getting down. Alright, we are in my hometown. This is my mom. Say hi, mom. Hello. These are two of my nieces. This is Molly. Hi. And Landry. And Dodge and, and, and Trip. We are going to the big news in our little town. We are headed to the McDonald's in our little town of 3,500. It's the big news. So we'll yeah. check in later. Wait, and I have two more sisters, but they're not here Sawyer and Emily. That's yeah. right. And oldest. So Emily's my twin. That's right. I think we'll meet them later, hopefully. And Sawyer is the oldest. So this is what we do in small town Texas on this. He said, wait a minute. So Thursday. That's my older take brother. Them with you. One at a time, so trim it first. Oh, he's gonna take them for a ride. This is my older brother. He has four daughters. They're bailing hay. So you see Truett in there? He's getting to go for a ride. Truett! As they bail some hay. We brought him, we brought Dub and my oldest niece, Sawyer, who's 12, she was helping. We bought them milkshakes. Y'all hop in, hop so in we and we'll follow. follow. Unless y'all wanna run behind him. No, I'll get behind him. Uh, okay. I mean, y'all can walk beside him, but don't get near. Make sure he can see you so he doesn't. Yeah, wait, yeah, stay away from. So we are, as you can see, in the hay field. Dub and Sawyer been rolling, baling hay. And now Dodge and Molly are chasing after him. Emily, Molly's twin, went with her other grandmother because Emily likes to help clean. I need to take her home with me. <laughs> hi, Sawyer. Can you say hi? Hi. I'm making right a video. Sawyer's been working hard all blog. morning bailing hay, haven't yeah, you, Sawyer? From Black Cross We brought her a, what kind did you get? The chocolate or the vanilla shake? Chocolate. Yum. She so, used to get them. Y'all don't want to hop out? Well, you, I think you stayed. I think he got a little bit spooky, maybe. Yeah. You don't want to run with Molly or walk with her, Dodge? We were going to follow behind you. It's hot. He is going fast. We can't even keep up in our, look at Truett. He looks cute. 
And so the back end of it's what's picking it up. Oh yeah, it's going up the back. Yeah, and those things on the front's what they will pick up the. Uh, it picks up from the front and then it. Is yeah, but those two big old long spikes is what they'll put in there and move these with. Mm -hmm. Uncle Zach moved one of these by himself one day, and nobody, everybody was betting he couldn't do it. And he, he did it. He did it. He's, oh no! Oh, there it goes. He's doing it. Truett. Oh, Truett got to do it. Mm -hmm. There it rolled out. Truett got to let it out. Wait, guys, not until Uncle Dove says. We got plenty of time. We're almost out of hate time. Very cool. Yep, it's oh, your turn. Open the door so it's not just time. Now. Time for the switch. Oh, why is not this one? You'd be good. Oh, because I got it in drive. Now try it. No. I pushed the wrong button. Here comes True Man. There goes Dodge. <laughs> They're excited. Get him to take him when he says. True, and how was it? Fine. I even got to push the hay out. You up the hay. I don't think I'm in his way right here. We'll see. No. He's going to come right by us. I <laughs> know he's coming right at us. <laughs> Leave it to Dove to come right at us. <laughs> I done told you about that. <laughs> what is he? Are, what are you? Texas boy. That's what I'm <laughs> Deb's threatening him. <laughs> You're a Texas. You want to say that to save yourself? Yeah. <laughs> is that what he just said? <laughs> so what are you, Truett? We're going to get back to it. I'm a Texas boy. I'm in a Tennessee boy. <laughs> Sawyer. Okay, people, y'all know that I'm in Texas for the week, and I'm Texas, over. Texas. I'm over at my friend Jennifer's house. This is Jennifer Marlar. Hi. We have been friends hey. now for about what seven, eight years. Yeah, we'll go something with that. Like, something like that. Um, Jennifer's an acquired taste, but I have acquired it, I guess. <laughs> Fine one. <laughs> no, we. Um, Jennifer and her husband Justin also sing. They have a band called Rhythm and Roses, and. Stephen was a worship pastor in uh, Terrell here, where that's where we met. He was on staff there, and they started attending. And at that time, she had a two-year-old and a one-month-old or two-month-old, or one-year-old. And Dodge was eight months old, only a Dodge. And now she has four girls. This now is, we have Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a good investment. A little late, but you know, better late than never. <laughs> so. Um, through the years, when they've we've done events or they've done events together, singing and stuff like that, we've become friends. So anyway, this is Jennifer. Y'all see her a lot on our vlogs, not on our vlogs, on our coffee tunes, commenting mm -hmm. and stuff like that. But so we are in Texas, and we thought we'd come see the Marlers. So this is the Marlers. This is Izzy. Say True hi, it. Izzy. Say hi. This is Izzy's. What? How old is Izzy? She'll be six months next week. Izzy Boo. And this is True it. Dodge and the other girls are upstairs. I got these two. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Tyler lost a tooth last night. Oh, did she? I wasn't loose, but she wanted money. Well, that was smart. That's what Truett did this first one. I think he mm. ripped it out to get the tooth ready to come see him. <laughs> so, so we're I'm actually leaving in the morning to head back to Tennessee. Oh. But Jennifer and Justin, they bought, after we got our Airstream, they got a, what's it? Avion. An Avion. It's like an Airstream. It's just, it's very similar it's a to it. brand. Yeah. <laughs> so they have been remodeling it. Just, oh, I tell you all the time about Texas Built Construction, who built our awesome bed. That's us. That's them. I, I do nothing. No, but it's still you. You know, Stephen says, I when I say we're going to do something, I mean him. Yeah, we're, I'm not doing anything. I'm so like, they built our bed. When I say so, I, it's like, look what I told my husband to do. <laughs> That's what I do too. It counts, right? I, yeah, I always say we play, we do music. It's Stephen. Yeah. I don't do anything. You'd actually You're sing, supportive. though. She sings, I babysit all the kids. Happy birthday. <laughs> Alright, so this is proof that I actually did get out of the house while my family was gone to Texas. Uh, this is my new friend, Tom. Golly. Did I say that right? Yep, yeah. Alright, yeah, so we're just kind of hanging out. We started hanging out about 9 o'clock, I guess is when we met here, and it's on 
about 12.45 right now, and we're calling in tonight. But, uh, yeah, we're going to be talking and doing some more stuff. But, uh, yeah, so. Wait, so we've been here, what, three, three and a half hours? Three and a half, four hours. Just right. Well, you promised me ten bucks an hour, remember that. Right, 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 right. So, anyway, yeah, so uh, just kind of just getting out and meeting folks. So, see, I'm not just staying in my trailer all by myself while my family's gone. <laughs> Back. We made it to well, Tennessee. <laughs> so we got back late last night. I'm not sure what time it was. I think it was only a little about after 8. 8 30. But 8 15, 8 30, something like that. We planned on kind of doing a hey, we're back, but I was exhausted. It was a it was harder driving back than driving there, I think, because we were just ready to see Steven and be home. So we were exhausted. So anyway, this is our hey, we're back, Tennessee. We made Reunited it. Reunited and it feels <laughs> so good. Yes, it does. So now it's Sunday morning and we're on our way to church. <laughs> I hope all of y'all are too. And what did you say? Daddy's being embarrassing. Daddy's being embarrassing. <laughs> and in charity. In charity? What's that mean? Daddy's charity. Look, I was reunited. I reunited with my beard comb. Yeah, too. I found his beard comb back at my mom's. He was excited. Yeah. Stephen hurt his back. Tell him how you hurt your back. I was. We were gone to Texas. Wrestling a bison <laughs> to the ground because it was charging my camper. And then Robin dropped a, <laughs> dropped a fan on my head. I did and, not. And I was on the that. other side of the couch when that happened. You bumped the couch and knocked the fan off. Likely story. Just saying. It did like a wire. I don't want to see it. A fan landed right on his head. And I did laugh because it was She's funny. still laughing. <laughs> But he did hurt his back while we were gone. The whole bison story. We'll stick with that. We went to church this morning. Of course, y'all know we went to Live Point and it was awesome as always. We are really, we have pretty much, I think, we haven't officially even talked about it except just, but I think we're officially Life Pointers. <laughs> we're tired. Oh. Um, so I think it's going to happen. We're going next Sunday to a meeting about small groups and we've already, we plug in this week on Wednesdays um, with the kids groups and with the women's Bible study. I think Stephen's doing a leadership thing. Theology. So, class, theology. so we just feel, I mean, honestly, just right at home. Okay, we're back. So tonight we already have plans. Eric and Susanna, um, Calfee, Calfee? Calfee. I always want to say coffee. Um, coffee. Coffee. Invited us to dinner tonight, and we were already very excited about that. And we'd already decided we were just going to come home for lunch today since we had dinner plans. And then, as we were leaving church, um, Kristen and Daniel um, Martin, that we met briefly at church last Sunday, invited us to lunch. And they invited us to lunch with some of their friends. They all live in the same street, so I guess we have to move. But um, yeah, if we got to be their friends, so, <laughs> so um, they invited us to lunch, and we wound up staying for a long time just chatting at church. And then we went to lunch with them and. Um, Elizabeth and Peyton and uh, Laura, I keep Laura. I got it right, not Lauren. Laura and um, Justin. Justin, and all of their kids, and it was just an awesome lunch. Like we just sat and talked forever, like we'd all known each other forever, and so that was great. Yeah, our kids bonded over the cool kid stuff, Pokemon. Yeah, the Pokemon. The Pokemon Go. Well, we started talking about our first conversation. Mine and Daniel's started out with. Well, it wasn't our first conversation, but we started talking about how to find a Pikachu <laughs> because it's great to find like-minded people. His <laughs> kids wanted a Pikachu. My kids wanted a Pikachu, but apparently the only way to get a Pikachu is to start the whole stinking game over again. Uh, Logan, my nephew, said he found one randomly in San Antonio. He's a liar. <laughs> He's in college. You don't think college, he's telling the truth? College kids lie. Logan, I know you're telling the truth. I believe well, you. Um, so, you. yeah, anyway, we did bond over that. Our well, kids, yeah. seriously, have not stopped talking about um, them from lunch today. They've sent each other, actually, through Stephen and um, Daniel's phones, they've sent pictures of their Pokemons they have at home to each other. So, And then dinner tonight was just amazing. We had so much fun. And the kids, again, just bonded and had a blast. They didn't want to all leave each other. Yeah. And um, I wound up getting some classical conversation stuff from Susanna. She homeschools for 10 years now. I know she's going to be a wealth of knowledge and information. And she was so generous to give us some stuff that they don't use anymore. 
and I got to hold their little baby. He's so cute. Four months old, Gabriel. Listen. Steven made me give him back. Listen. Women. <laughs> stop giving my wife your baby. <laughs> it's a public service. We are behind in homeschool family worlds. We only have two children. <laughs> Everyone has at least four to five, if not more. Maybe three. But we are we're behind Steven. So anyway, we had a great day. We just wanted to do a recap. Ignore Stephen. We wanted to do a recap. Um, it's Sunday evening. Usually this is when we start, um, Stephen starts working on the video for the week and we start a new one. But we really just had such a great day today that we just feel our hearts are full. We're tired because I got in from Texas late last night. And um, But it was just an amazing day. And we just feel like we're where God has called us to be. Yes. And we're excited about continuing and growing yeah. and meeting people and talking chatting about people on our vlog pokemon so just know that that if you <laughs> meet <laughs> us you're gonna be a topic now let's hope so be okay with that yes <laughs> we won't put you on here without your permission yeah but if you want to be just tell us because i feel awkward i'm like can we video you yeah so anyway y'all have a great sunday night yes be blessed go um see. aggies <laughs> whoop I always think I need Texas. Um, but, you know, what's your reinvention this week? That's what we decided we were going to start asking. I thought it was like, go reinvent yourself. We said it was going to be go reinvent yourself, and it sounds kind of like an insult. Go, go reinvent, reinvent yourself. yourself. <laughs> question that I posed to my students this week was, life is an adventure. Where will your journey take you? That is. I like that. I know. because I. But said we're it. reinventing the Blackwells. When okay, you say, so... I'll have a great week. <laughs> go reinvent yourself. <laughs> <laughs>